Hello there, my dear grade 6 students. Welcome to our virtual class. This is teacher Ara Christine and I will be your virtual teacher in grade 6. I will be having my lesson series for all the subjects in quarter 1 grade 6. I will help you in accomplishing your activities and your learning tasks found in your module. Welcome and happy learning! My grade 6 student, I am teacher Ara Christine and I will help you in accomplishing your learning task in your modules. Our learning area for this episode is science with the topic mixture and their characteristics. With this topic, we have the objective Describe the appearance and uses of uniform and non-uniform mixtures. Are you ready to learn? Then what are you waiting for? Get ready with your module, pen, and paper. And let's start learning today. Let's begin with our lesson by familiarizing this word's found in our word bank. We have the first word, solutions. Solutions are homogeneous mixtures of two or more substances. We also have the word, suspension. Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture of larger particles. Next, we have mixture. Mixture is a combination of two or more distinct particles. We also have the word uniform or homogeneous mixture. Mixture looked at the same all throughout. And we have non-uniform or the heterogeneous mixture. It is made of different substances that remain physically separate. Great! Now, since you are already familiar with these words, let's check your prior knowledge about the topic by answering these preview questions. Let's have our first question. A mixture composed of two or more substances that remain physically separate is called blank. A. Homogeneous B. Heterogeneous C. Solution or D. Suspension Please write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. Let's have the second question. Below are examples of uniform mixtures except blank. A. Air B. Steel C. Rain or D. Blood And let's have the third question. You are asked by your mother to mix a sachet of your flavored juice in cold water of pitcher. What type of mixture did you produce? A. Homogeneous B. Heterogeneous C. Colloid or D. Suspension Are you finished answering the questions? Then let's check if your answers are correct. For number one, 
we have the answer B. Heterogeneous. This are two or more substances that remain physically separate. Let's have the answer for the second question. The answer is letter D. Blood. And let's have the answer for question number three. The correct answer is A. Homogeneous mixture. This is what you produced when you mix a sachet of your flavored juice in cold water of pitcher. Wow! You did an awesome job there! Now, let's have this simple activity. You need the following materials. Mongo seeds and peanuts and we have to answer the following questions after the activity first question can you still distinguish the peanuts from the mongo second question does the peanut and the mongo changed its face when you mixed it together? And the third question. Does the peanut and mongo changed in size and color when you mixed it together? Let's find out and try this activity. Let's look closely and let's mix the mongo seed with the peanuts. After mixing this together, we have this mixture. You need to observe its appearance. And after observing its appearance, you have to answer the questions. Did you answer all the questions? Now let's check if your answers are correct. For the first question, can you still distinguish the peanuts from the mongo? Yes, we can still distinguish the peanuts and the mongo seeds from the mixture. For the second question, does the peanut and mongo change its face when mixed together? What do you think so? No! The peanuts and the mongo seeds did not change its face when it was mixed. It was still on its solid face. And for the third question, does the peanut and mongo changed in size and color when mixed? What's your answer for this question? You are correct. No, the peanuts and the mongo seeds did not change its size and color when it was mixed. Now that you tried to do and answer the first activity, you need to understand this. Mixed substances can be classified depending on the appearance of the resulting mixture. Thus, on our first activity, when two or more solid substances are being mixed, the result will always be in a solid form, just like the peanut and the mongo seeds mixed together. But when you combine solid to liquid, it will form a single phase of matter, particularly liquid, like the powder juice mixed with water. And 
Moreover, when two or more liquids are being mixed, we can form two kinds of solutions, the miscible and immiscible solution. When we talk about miscible and immiscible solution, this is what we mean. Miscible, like water and ethyl alcohol, are liquids which are able to mix. Immiscible, like oil and water, are liquids which are unable to mix. Let's explain further the concept behind these ideas. A mixture is two or more substances that are not chemically combined and it can be physically separated. It is also classified into homogeneous, which means the same. You cannot see the different parts or phases of the mixture in homogeneous mixture. Thus, we likely produce solutions. Aside from homogeneous mixture, we also have the heterogeneous mixture, which means different. With this kind of mixture, you can see the different parts or phases of the mixture easily. We are most likely to produce colloids and suspensions in this kind of mixture. Let's look more into the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture and take up their examples. For homogeneous mixture, we have sugar solution. Sugar, when added to a glass of water, dissolves completely in the water. We also have salt solution. Like sugar granules, salt particles also dissolve well in a glass of water. We also have air. Air is a mixture of various gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, rare gases, etc., which has one phase. While in heterogeneous mixture, we have the following examples. Pizza, cereal and milk, ice cubes in a drink, mixed nuts, sand and gravel. We are almost finished with our lesson, but before that, Let's test yourself and answer this activity. You have to classify the following mixtures and you have to write HMM if the mixture is uniform or homogeneous and HTM if it is non-uniform mixture or heterogeneous on the space provided before the number. Let's have the first mixture. Water. For number two, we have chocolate. For number three, we have chickpeas. For number four, we have Maggi noodle soup. For number five, we have ice cubes and cola. For number six, we have cologne. For number seven, alcohol. For number eight, dishwashing liquid. For number nine, we have vinegar. And for number ten, we have soil. 
Have you written all your answers? Then let's check if your answers are correct. For this activity, you need to write HMM if the mixture is uniform and HTM if the mixture is non-uniform. Let's have the first mixture. Water. For water, the answer is HMM. Number two, chocolate. The answer is HMM. For number three, chickpeas. The answer is HTM. For number four, Maggie noodle soup. The answer is HTM. And for number five, ice cubes in cola. The answer is HTM. For number six, cologne. The answer is HMM. For number seven, alcohol. The answer is HMM. For number eight, dish washing liquid. The answer is HMM. And for number nine, vinegar. The answer is also HMM. And for number 10, soil. The answer is HTM. Good job! Before we end this episode, always remember that when identifying mixture, you need to answer this question. Is the appearance of the mixture uniform? Yes or no? If you answered yes, then the mixture is classified as homogeneous. But if you answered no, then the mixture is heterogeneous. Homogeneous mixture are most likely to be solutions. And for heterogeneous mixtures, they are most likely to be suspensions or colloids. Congratulations for finishing this episode. Thank you very much and don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you will get notified every time I post our new episode. Thank you very much and happy learning!